Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Today I want to share with you 29 things that could lift your spirits. Especially if you're down in the dumps, you probably would welcome something to pull you up. Well, one thing that my clients have found helpful is rather simple. Just think of something you're looking forward to. It can be as little as one thing, although the more the better, or the more the merrier, literally. And go beyond what you're actually looking forward to. Think of what you could look forward to. To illustrate and to trigger your thinking here, in each of life's major categories are some possibilities. Might you be able to look forward to any of these? Now, by the way, these suggestions are aimed at people with common subclinical sadness. The ideas may well be insufficient to deal with major depression or other mental illness. First, four regarding work. A meeting at which you could make a contribution. That feels good. And if you can't think of anything, might it be worth reviewing the agenda of an upcoming meeting to see whether a few minutes of reflection or research might generate something? Another example, a project you could do well, maybe one that you need to propose. There's no need to make it fancy, at least for starters. How about just describing it in 50 words or less? Another example, socializing or flirting at the water cooler, break room, or at a TGIF. If you're not good at those things, maybe you just want to dress a little more attractively. One other, another example at work, the final one about work, cleaning your desk or your office. Cleaning up can be uplifting. It's something doable without huge effort, and you see instant results. If a cleanup project seems overwhelming, just start with one corner of the room or one drawer in your desk. Now some examples for things that might raise your spirits regarding relationships. I should say, things that uh, you could do regarding relationships that could boost your spirits. First, and maybe best, is to help someone else. Often that's the best route upward. You may feel more fortunate, feel useful, or at least be distracted from your own woes. Or, what's something fun you could do with your partner who's been... You know, think about what's been fun for you, not just in the recent past or currently, but back to the beginning of your relationship. Maybe even look back to previous relationships. What was fun with that person? Another example, something fun you could do to attract a partner. For example, attend an event at which your Mr. or Ms. Wright is likely to attend. Whether it be a certain kind of talk, a hike, a class, a volunteer opportunity. You might consider wearing an outfit that makes you feel confident. Another example, reminisce about good relationships past. Think about first dates, most romantic dates, that great trip you took together, that wild or peaceful time together. Another example, fantasize about the relationship you wish you had. How would the person behave? What would he or she look like? What would you do together? Another example, reach out to a current or an old friend Think of someone you've laughed with or where the conversations were great. Another example, reach out to a family member. Who's the person you most like and trust? This one may be a little weird if you're down in the dumps. Throw a party. Of course, for some people who are feeling blue, that's overwhelming. But other sad people find a big project like that to be energizing. Well, how about you? If that feels a bit much, maybe you can throw the party with somebody else, you know, co-host. Now a bunch of examples for uplifting your spirits related to recreation. How about draw or paint something? Even if you can draw on nothing more complicated than stick figures, virtually any act of creation can be uplifting. Write a lyric or a poem or a short story or start on a book, a screenplay or the great American novel. Just start. Maybe begin with what feels easy, the title, the beginning, a character sketch, the theme, whatever. Try to have fun in the act of creation. That's helpful not only in uplifting your spirits, but often in creating a good product. How about playing a sport? Do it your way, competitive or not. Whatever is going to help pull you out of the doldrums. Watch a sport. Really get into it or just appreciate it. Take a sports lesson. For example, sign up for a tennis class. Do something crafty by yourself or with others. For example, the classic sewing circle. Take a walk or a hike to a favorite place or find a new locale to explore. Read a good book or what I particularly enjoy, reread a good book. Watch an uplifting movie, Forrest Gump comes to mind, or rewatch an uplifting movie. 
or build something, if only to assemble a piece of IKEA furniture. Now three examples for uplifting your spirits regarding your health. Should you be starting or reinvigorating your exercise routine? And would any of these make it more motivating for you? Chart your progress. Like, you know, um, uh, anyway, chart your progress with uh, yeah, on that and maybe on weight loss. An exercise partner. Uh, watch exercise or yoga videos. Take a class. Or you might go on a prudent diet, charting your progress, perhaps using, as I was about to say, an app such as Lose It or My Fitness Pal. How about cutting your substance use? Of course, when you're sad, it's tempting to increase your substance use. But I have had clients who find new hope in deciding they've just had enough. And finally, four examples of spirituality, ways to, spiritual ways to raise your spirits. One example is to think big thoughts, even cosmic ones. What's good about the world? What would make the world wonderful? What would be cosmically wise? More mundane, should you simply attend a um, religious service? I don't mean it's mundane, I just mean it's more common. Should you otherwise get involved in a religious institution? Should you pray? Even atheists, like me, feel good about hoping for better while feeling grateful for the good that is. Now, take just one minute, but give it a full minute to think of at least one thing that you are or could be looking forward to. But as I said, the more the merrier, literally. Now write them down, keep the list in front of you, and paraphrase them often, verbally or in writing. That should keep those positives top of mind and help bring you out of the dumps. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.